Hi guys and welcome to a new video here at our channel. Um, a little bit of time has passed since the last video, so in case you forgot who I am, my name is Jan, I'm a tester here at Handy Games, and today I will be your host. So what's up? Well, today it's Townsman time. Um, Townsman is one of our highly successful games and we have a gigantic update coming um, with a lot of new features, a lot of quality of life improvements and today I will try to show you at least some of these features and hope to get you fired up for the new update. Alright, the first thing you might notice is the new main menu. We spent quite some time to overhaul it with a new button design and some gorgeous new animations. Looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, so the new update um, does not only come with a lot of new features like new buildings, the military, UI improvements, but of course some new scenarios as well. But um, before you ju jump in um, into the action, um, just play the military basic training um, where we will we'll explain um, how the military works. And after that you can um, test your skills at Behind the Blinders, a girl's desires and the perfect brew and if you don't feel like beating up the filthy bandits um, we also added um, three peaceful new scenarios the king's disease war ridden and farmland yes um, the military scenarios are specifically ca catered for well the military and in case you didn't already notice they are marked by this blue and white shield over here and it should also be noted that um, your old save games um, stay untouched, so you don't have to worry about um, facing bandits off uh, in your gigantic uh, towns. Now, enough of the main menu, let's get into the game. Of course, I prepared a little save game for you guys, so we don't have to build up from scratch. Okay, this is my neat little town called Teaser Town. It's not very beautiful, but it gets the job done. Yeah, hmm, what is there to say? Well, I'm currently sitting at 42 townies, so it's not um, a very big population, but it's not very small either. And as you might notice already, there are some new buildings. So let's have a look at them. This is the pig farm. The pig farm, as the name might imply, um, provides you with pigs. And these pigs can be used by the butcher's workshop to um, be then um, produced to uh, meat and sausages. Um, you might also notice that we overhaul the building's information tab completely. On the top left you can see the upgrade level of your building and there is also a button, um, this arrow up here. Um, opens up the upgrade menu. Um, my pig farm is currently sitting at level 1, which you can see, uh, or, or, which, which is implied by the uh, one star here. Um, down below you have your worker slots, um, so you can see how many workers are working in your building and what they are currently producing. Um, the pig farm is only able to produce pigs, or yeah, produce is not the right word for that, I know. Let's call it breed. So the pig farm um, breeds pigs um, and is only able to breed pigs. Uh, other buildings like for example the farm um, can produce multiple resources. Uh, the farm is able to produce uh, wheat, herbs and wool. On the top right you have your building storage. There you can see um, how many resources are currently uh, sitting in the storage of the building. And um, there you can also see um, what is needed to uh, produce the goods. So, for example, in the pig farm you need wheat and water um, to breed your pigs. The bottom tab is displaying information according to the building type. If it is, for example, a so-called production building, then you can see the related buildings um, down on the bottom tab. Um, if it is a building for fulfilling desires, like for example the church, let me show you the church, there it is. Um, yeah, if it is a building uh, for fulfilling desires, then um, it shows you um, the occupancy. 
If you have a lot of townies, um, a soul level 1 church uh, might not be able to fulfill the townies need for religion for example. So to fix this you either need to upgrade your church to level 2 or 3 or build another one. So it can serve more townies. Yes, and if your need for information is not satisfied yet, we added this info button up in the top left corner. Here you can um, see what the building does, um, what the capacity is, and if it is a production building again, like let's go back to the pig farm. Um, then you can see how many resources or, and what resources I used to um, produce the good you are looking for. Alright, what else is there to show you guys? So, did you ever feel the need to, well, to know where your Tonys are going and what they are doing? Well, now you can uh, easily do that by pressing the magnifying glass down here. Magnifying glass um, now auto automatically tracks um, your Tonys and is following them around. So this pig farmer here is getting some water for the pig farm. I can also switch in between the worker slots. The other pig farmer is in the pig farm. And if I want to see, for example, uh, where my text guy is going, I just press on the text building on the treasury and again press on the magnify glass. So the text guy is currently collecting taxes as the text guy does. Yes, awesome. All right, so you also noticed my warehouses are full. What can I do against that? So normally you would just try to sell your goods, but um, it's limited to around 100 resources. Now we added a new feature for um, destroying resources. We also um, overhauled how the plus and minus buttons are working. So if you want to get rid of, let's say, 200 stones, you just hold down the minus button and the longer you press down the minus, minus button or the plus button, um, the, faster, the faster the counter is going up and you can now easily and very conveniently get your resources you don't need away. Do you really want to destroy the goods? Yes. And here we are. Now we have a little bit more space in our storage. Yes, this um, feature is particularly um, useful if you have uh, big towns. Um, you can regulate very easily your resources and the, the flow of the resources. And yes, um, I would say let's conclude the video here. I was talking now for quite a long time. This was supposed to be a very short teaser video, but um, yeah, as you noticed, uh, we have a lot of new features, a lot of exciting stuff, and uh, I didn't even talk about the military update yet. We will put out a video solely for the military purpose um, out there, also coming in the next weeks. And yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for watching and Please subscribe, like, and have a good day. Goodbye.